Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. What's up with you? What's up with that? What's up with that? That's that uh, SNL skit. Uh, so damn. Ace of Pentacles there with the Ten of Cups. Ooh. Sagittarius, y'all got some great energy. I don't feel like that Ten of Cups has to necessarily be a love relationship or partnership. Some of you, this could just be a good uh, uh, friendship, a good relationship or partnership. Some of y'all, a good uh, opportunity coming in. It's genderless, so I don't. it doesn't have to be romantic. Well, I'm telling Geminis to make their birthday wish come true, Sagittarius. Do you remember your birthday wish, Sagittarius? Yeah, some of you, your birthday wishes are getting ready to come true. There's the Ace of Cups. That feels like an accomplishment vibe. Celebratory energy. Look, you pulled both the Ten of Cups. There's the Ace of Wands. You got the Ace of Pentacles there. You got the Ace of Wands. And there's that Fool card. Ooh. This almost feels like a game show type energy. So I definitely feel like you've been through a lot, Sagittarius. Some of you have definitely been tested. You, you've uh, you've kind of been there, done that. But things are going to start uh, working out for you in a very unique way. So uh, do you remember your birthday wish, Sagittarius's? Definitely ex expect the unexpected, but expect like positive vibes. It's really going to come down to uh, the reality of something when it comes to you. This is like the sun card. This is like looking at everything. Uh, trusting your instincts and definitely trusting the snake ass vibe. So this is a trust the vibrations on something. Definitely trust your intuition when it comes to something. Some of you, it's not going to be the way you think. So <laughs> Sagittarius... There could be a relationship or partnership, but that doesn't mean it has got to be romantic. This could be a great opportunity that's going to show up in a way that uh, is going to be far better than you could imagine. So some of you, those discursions along the way, those sort of things that didn't work out, those things that uh, uh, you kind of had to take a minute on, uh, it was there for a reason. So, damn. I definitely feel like you've uh, overcome a lot of obstacles. That's for damn sure. Keep making those smart choices. There's the two of swords. There's the judgment vibe. There's the seven of cups. Oh, I know y'all dealing with some shite relationships or partnerships. And there's the king of cups. Mm. Some of you, I don't think that relationship or partnership is going to be that happily ever after. So, uh... If you're holding out for this partnership or someone to come in and, like, uh, create that loving Ten of Cups, some of you, it's probably going to be a good working relationship, partnership, or friendship before you get the romance. Because that King of Cups, that really feels like a player fucking vibe. But they're coming from this energy. And this energy. Ooh. So some of you don't fuck up a good opportunity by thinking that it's going to be romantic or don't fuck up a good opportunity waiting for uh, someone that you think is going to come in and be like the perfect partner because damn, I think you'll probably get taken advantage of over top of that. Yeah, there's that. This is what you need to focus on. Whoever, whatever this Aries energy is, this emperor vibe is with you, that's going to be like uh, the deciding factor on something with you. Some of you could definitely have some deep-rooted issues that you need to be working through when it comes to this Emperor vibe. It always feels like you need a single accomplishment first. So that way you know that you are actually like equal in a relationship or partnership instead of just being dominated. 
So this is the energy Sagittarius, right? Where you're the one that makes the money, but someone else decides how it's spent. This is the energy of uh, you're trying to create this perfect happily ever after. And then somebody else is the one that you have to basically do what they say. It's a lot of old school energy on this. So some of you, this is like some deep rooted sort of uh, energy when it comes to you. That emperor could be religious as well. So Sagittarius, maybe some of y'all are working through some religious guilt that you have going on. This could definitely be generational when it comes to you as well. I don't think you're going to get that romance. That person that you're thinking is going to come in and be that partner. Or be mindful of that manipulation energy. This is like you're the one that wins the race. You're the one that gets the opportunity. But this is the person that like uh, says it only happened because of them. That could distinctly be an Aries, or that could be Aries' strong placement in your chart, like your rising or your moon. Or this is just the same thing over and over again with you. Kind of depends upon how you are in your relationships or partnerships, too. Do you stay authentically yourself, or are you one of them people that changes everything about yourself to be in a relationship or partnership? This is genderless, too. So the emperor could be a feminine energy. Uh, that's however that kind of shows up in your life uh, with what you got going on here. What's over the emperor? The six of wands. Some of you could just be dealing with somebody who is definitely just an opportunist. If someone else's partner was always the accomplished one, but this person had to either... They figured out a way to sort of weasel themselves into this person's life or into this person's accomplishments... So that way, even though you're the one that gets the accolades, this is the person that uh, uh, takes credit for everything that you've done. Doesn't have to be romantic. This could be work with you. Some of y'all, this could be a parental situation. There you are. This is good uh, Leo vibes. We are in uh, Leo season. Sit your ass down. This is someone who has to sort of wear the energy of whatever partner or relationship that they're in. Uh, some of y'all, I think this is uh, a good business opportunity, a good business or friendship coming in. But some of you, someone wants to masquerade it into like a sort of romantic connection. This is usually how this person gets their accomplishments, though. So definitely be mindful of catfish and energy. Uh, also be mindful of the wolf and sheep's clothing energy here as well. And this is this is genderless. So however the hell this energy is with you. Those of you, a boss or someone above you could be wanting to take advantage of the work that you do so they can get some sort of accomplishment off of it. You're definitely dealing with the snake ass energy. But that energy shouldn't bother you or worry you much. Especially if that's something that you're used to or some of you should be used to. So what is it? Red and black, friend of Jack's. Be mindful of the common sense energy uh, as well with you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, don't let someone come in and act like they chose you because some of them could be getting out of a relationship or partnership where this sort of uh, uh, authority uh, dominance didn't work. So you could just be like the next person that they're trying to take advantage of. Who masks their accomplishments behind their partner's accomplishments? 
Now, it's one thing to take pride in what your partner does, but it's something else if you're taking the credit for what they do and you haven't done a fucking thing, right? You know, then people that are like, oh, yeah, this is what my partner did, and yeah, we're so great. And it's like, no, they did that all on their own, right? <sighs> Definitely work, work vibes on this. I don't feel it's love, so some of y'all, just be mindful of that energy. You could just be someone's next sort of a... Uh, a uh, person to uh, try to latch a hold of. Who has the accomplishments and who doesn't? For a lot of you, that's the whole vibe. Who is the accomplished one and who is just the one that kind of leeches off the accomplished one? And how much of this person changes with regard to the relationship that they're in? This would be someone that switches religion. This would be someone that switches how they dress. This is someone that could switch how they talk. Everything about their mannerisms change when they start dating somebody. So it's kind of like chameleon energy. They just take on whatever persona of the partner that they're with. So it's spending more time to figure out how to get in there and manipulate the, the, the energy. So what's the consistency with somebody? How much do they change in the relationships or partnerships that they get into? There's adaptability, and then there's those that just sort of, they just take on the vibe. They blend in very well. It's a chameleon energy. So they're able to do a lot of different things. But it gets the opportunity. It's, it's given that vibe of like, uh, this is a person that if you're like being coached, so definitely in a work situation, if you're doing really good work and your boss or supervisor is kind of uh, giving you accolades, but at the same time, they would be the one that would take all the, what's the word, all the accomplishment for themselves instead of giving it to you. That's how someone is in a relationship or partnership. Kind of interesting retrograde vibes with this. So, this is something that you're going to have to figure out. So, some of y'all really, how, how much does someone, now Sagittarius, for some of you, this could be you. How much do you change to fit their relationship or partnership? Or how much does uh, this person that you're dealing with change to fit the relationship or partnership? Definitely be mindful in the, the wolf in sheep's clothing. Some of you, I feel this person likes to come in on a romantic level, but just know you're not the only one. And if they're available to be with you now, it's probably because the game playing didn't work in the last relationship that they had. Some of you could have some inner work you need to do with that Leo energy there, and that Aries energy. You could be working through some sort of... Uh, uh, generational type beliefs. Some of you, this could be spiritual, so you could be working through some religious guilt on something. Just know that the accomplishment is there for you. So, for fuck's sake, if you achieved a goal, you achieved that dream, who the fuck lets you have that sort of achievement or goal or dream without having to try to say that you only got it because of them or you only achieved it because of them? Work, love, life with you, Sagittarius. Some of y'all make sure you compartmentalize that aspect of your life too. There's this uniqueness with you. There's definitely, this is a, there's androgyny on this. So whatever this opportunity is, doesn't have to be romantic for some of you. Someone's got to work through some issues though. This is good retrograde vibes. You've been through a lot of tests. Some of you be mindful of the spiritual connections and uh, how that sort of correlates with you. I always feel the energy of like tithing with you or 
uh, of an opportunity wanting to come in, but it's someone that's wanting to take advantage of you. So someone needs you to buy into something. Someone wants you to sort of buy into something because you are definitely showing up as being a, uh, an accomplished person. Empress energy there, the hangman, the seven of pentacles there with the will of fortune. Someone's always expecting something with this relationship or partnership. So if you're dealing with somebody and they can actually profit off of what you do or there's some sort of correlation with what you do versus your finances, you need to tiptoe probably out of that situation till you have time to look at something and figure something out. It's a fertile energy too, so be mindful of your family planning as well. That is definitely genderless. So keep that in mind, Sagittarius. Where's the fucking authenticity with something? Where's the authenticity with something? Take what's yours, leave what's not. This is like uh, if someone changes their look a lot or they go from being like a... Uh, uh, they like one style or they go to this church because that's where their partner goes. And then, you know, they start doing something else or working with someone else and they just sort of em embody everything about that person's lifestyle, even change the way they look, they dress, everything changes just to fit the relationship or partnership. So that way you don't get taken advantage of. Definitely be mindful. I feel like there's another Sagittarius uh, I don't know if that's your doppelganger, someone just trying to emulate you, copy you, be you, created a, some sort of connection when it comes to you. Trust your intuition with some. This definitely feels like retrograde vibes. Hold yourself in high regard here. If you're going through something on a spiritual level, if you're somebody that takes communion... That could be something that you're kind of... You could be rethinking that too. There's a lot of ingrained energy as well when it comes to this. So this is like generational sort of thoughts, generational beliefs, generational baggage that some of y'all could be carrying forward. I feel like it's your accomplishment. This is like the coach... Uh, if someone on the team is the one that scores all the points and wins the game, but the coach wanting to be the one up there in front of the microphone talking about how great they are, who gives you your accolades and who the fuck doesn't? So some of you could definitely be dealing with some jealousy with regard to your interpersonal relationships or partnerships. Take what's yours, leave what's not Sagittarius. You got accomplishment energy, but for fuck's sake, you take the bowels instead of letting somebody else because that's just bullshit. Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Peace, love, and light, Sagittarius.